Time has stopped saying you inherited all these problems. Last time I checked, members of the communication firms in question donated to your campaign. Passing the blame and demonizing Ms. Lopez for taking a stand because she is up for re-election is cheap and hypocritical. Two weeks ago, you were supposed to give a commencement speech at East Lake High School. Instead, you gave a campaign speech that reminded us that you have served in the military and that you have ambitions to serve as the mayor of Chula Vista. I urge you to stop using your position as a political stepping stone and do what is right for what is education and our community. We will help do our part. Let's turn that pudding into clear, transparent jello where we can say that we increase student achievement Mr. by Cossons, ethical and instructional practices. And the other thing is, I just want to say, Mr. Martin Casas, uh, your people have attacked my military service. You have attacked veterans. You are going through. And I want everybody to take note. I, I am unapologetic of my military service, and I think that anti-American, anti-veteran statements are unacceptable. If there's no further communication, I will recess. What, what was that American about what he said? Excuse me, I can't let you pass out the hand. The opposition, the opposition has perpetuated the myth that anybody from Iraq or Afghanistan, when they come back, that they're not mentally stable or not mentally capable. And those people out there are the ones that are perpetuating that myth and attacking it. We should be focusing on the children. We should be focusing on the mission. Military status, uh, comments like that are purely political oh. and it's pure hate speech. When you say the opposition, who do you mean the opposition to Bill? Uh, Mr. Martin Casas. He, ta he attacked me for mentioning my military service, Ms. Berta Lopez, uh, Ms. Cheers, uh, those folks. Okay, thanks, John.